Oh man, last night was not a good night for us and our chickens. So, we just got the barred rocks out here last night and I know a lot of people talked about the security of the fencing and stuff like that in the video, which is all great advice. But the thing is, is that we had planned on coming home early to put the chickens away. They go into the coop and all is well. Between about 10 o'clock at night and midnight seems to be when these, uh, these raccoons here in Michigan, lower Michigan, raccoons are by far our biggest predator for chickens. Uh, there are foxes, there are coyotes, but they don't, they don't really come up close to the house very often. I mean, they are, uh, the foxes can get in and stuff like that. They could dig under the fencing and everything um, in all of our coops, really, in all of our chicken yards. Um, but uh, they're not, they don't hunt during the day. You're not going to see a fox unless it's sick or has mange or something else or a coyote up near your house during the day unless they're super desperate. So that's really not the issue. Raccoons have been an issue here. We've lost a lot of chickens this year to raccoons. Raccoons are very crafty. They have great dexterity. They can uh, open, lift. They can lift our garage door and get in our, our, our garage. They eat all of our cat food. They eat our feed for our animals. They pull chickens through fencing. They, they can do all kinds of things. And that's what happened here. So the chickens weren't in the coop because Blue, our rooster, who has been taken out of the coop, he sleeps right there in the middle. He has some feet problem. He's got some frostbite issues and stuff. He's an older bird, so he doesn't perch. And these guys were afraid of him. They wouldn't come in here. It was their first night uh, with him. They were, the, the barred rocks were just laying out here by the fence. And the raccoon will sneak up and grab, they can't see. Chickens can't see at all in the dark. I mean, they're totally blind and raccoon will just sneak up and, and I don't even think the raccoon got in there at first. But So we need to make sure the coop is secure and, that, and that's the best thing I can tell you when you're, when you're building a coop or building a chicken yard. The yard needs to keep the chickens in. It doesn't need to keep predators out and I'll tell you why. Raccoons can just climb over the top of this. There's, there's nothing preventing a, a raccoon from, or possums and they'll both eat chickens easily from climbing over the top of this fencing. So yes, I could bury stuff down below and keep things from digging out. That may prevent a fox or a coyote, but I, I'm not gonna cover this entire area. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I could do hot wire or you know, uh, electric fencing or something around this, which would be fine too. Um, I'd have to do a high one and a low one, and I may do that. But the bottom line is this, the coop is the security. That's where the, the chickens need to be able to go to find safety. Um, this coop is extremely secure. Nothing is gonna get in here. The only weak point is this door. We've never had a raccoon or any animal get in through this door and it's never had a lock on it. However, seeing that we have now lost a barred rock in this area and we wanna make sure this does not happen again, I am gonna secure this door. All right, I think that's gonna work a lot better. I've got a little little bar in here. What are those called on doors? Like old castle doors, they throw that piece of wood across, I don't know. I'm sure it has a name. But uh, anyway, serves the same purpose, just a piece of uh, PVC or CPVC in here, a um, couple clamps, and we'll be able to just move this over and just kinda let it sit there. And then the door can easily open and close. And then at nighttime, we'll just open the door, the main door here, and slide the piece of PVC through, and that keeps it locked down. We can't uh, can't open the door at all, so that's that's nice and secure. The other the other uh, entry point here is the nesting box, and I'm gonna do a whole video on the suburban coop here, and uh, we're gonna get that replaced. But all right, it's been a few days, but this uh, 
This other chicken in here that had his head pretty much half bitten off by that raccoon. He's only got one eye left, and I think what we think is is developing into a rooster here. Um, this uh, rooster barred rock. So this is his good side, but you can see that nasty cut on the top there. So we're going to get him cleaned up. There's been some flies and stuff around it. That's the worst thing we could get is have maggots or something in there, but it went right down to the skull. So it was a pretty nasty and infected and everything else. So we're going to get him out and clean him up. So all we're doing here is, I'm just using some antibiotic cream. Um, I know there's other options too. I could pack it with Vaseline, but uh, I want to kill any infection. There's still a really deep hole right here on the top of his head. I, I just, I don't even know how he lived, to be honest with you. This eye is either gone on the side or just infected and shut. So, all right, so you can hand me, hand me keep this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get this in here and he doesn't like this I know you saw this before didn't you yeah I know it hurts I'm sure you're not being good broken now get up there come on go <laughs> it's I know I know dude dude I know it sucks it's not bubbling in there so Keep clean Q-tips in this. It's it's yucky. And you can see all the like infection and stuff coming out. All right, give me another Q-tip. I know, dude. This this has to burn. He just stuck it in his nose. That's okay. Oh, all right. That's just hydrant. All right, you're okay. You're all right. Hey! You just not like it. Well, bring it over here. Okay, so we're gonna put a big glob of that. Whoa! Summer, you do not have to. Alright, shh. So, I want to try to pack it. I know. I know. It's okay. It's, we gotta do this one. Oh, probably one. Feel good. Okay. All right. Last one. It's pain relief, so it has to like at least. Hey, hey! Stop. It's okay, buddy. I know. It's okay. I know. You'll be like, fine. Down to his skull. It's it's <laughs> not good. But we want to cover this. See how it, we got it all covered now. Okay. <laughs> so he hates okay. You. Dude, dude. Every he'll hey, be right hey. for this. So let's get him back in. Back in the coop. All right. Well, he he seems to be doing okay. Um, I've come out every couple days and packed that wound up and cleaned it up and stuff. And yeah, I mean this is a good sign. He is getting out of the coop. He's drinking water. I think that eyeball is completely gone though. So. He may still be a good good little useful chicken for us. We'll see what happens. Well, it's been a few more days here. Let's see how our uh, our injured chicken's doing. Oh, they've knocked the ladder down. They're all confused. All right, let's see how our, our little guy's head is doing here. Yeah, hey, look at that. It's just... As a whole, it goes right down to his skull. <laughs> oh, that is awful. But it's healed up. It's not... It's closed up on the inside. So... Still missing an eye, though. Well, I, I can't complain. I think that he's healed up rather well, and... Uh, we'll continue on his, on his journey here at the uh, SSL Family Farm. So we'll see how these guys do out here. We learn a lot every year with chickens. Um, out here, there's a lot more predators than, than anywhere else we've, we've lived. As long as we get these chickens in at dusk each night, which is what should be happening, they will, they will always be secure. Um, the lock has been working well, and so these guys will do just fine in there. So although it is always sad to have chickens get taken or eaten or whatever we've lost a lot of chickens this year having them free range around and uh we just couldn't couldn't get them into safety at night um 
free-ranging chickens is, is, is difficult. You want to keep them safe, but you don't want to keep them penned up. So uh, it, it's a difficult balance that we're trying to figure out what the best solutions are going to be out here. How can we get the chickens out on free range, but still keep them protected at night? Um, training them to get into the coop and stuff like that uh, sometimes works with chickens, sometimes it doesn't. If they have other places to go, you know, you can find them roosting anywhere in trees and fences and all over the place. So uh, we have a lot more to experiment with and a lot more to, to do here. Um, we're constantly trying to improve the, the situations for our animals uh, and over the years have more chickens and more places for, for them to be safe. Uh, so I'm glad to see this rooster or this, this what we think is a rooster made it. And uh, you know, we hope that these chickens will, will grow up and provide lots of eggs for us and, and breed and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, but as always guys, comments, love to hear from you. Um, I, I don't I don't mind any any uh, you know advice uh, criticism uh, um, positive reinforcement is always good also whatever you guys have is fine but uh, I appreciate you guys following along hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell on the subscribe as well that gives you alerts to new videos I always uh, um, appreciate the the subscription and as well as the thumbs up on the video so um, as always guys thanks for watching have a good one.